tuning in to another episode of Apex Vision TV. Today I'm going to let you know my thoughts on my Tanabe exhaust and my Dragon R weapon intake, short ram intake. Stay tuned for this review. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Nothing but positive to say about my exhaust. However, this intake, I feel pretty strongly about it. Um, you know, I followed the directions on the install and I just don't like how it's flimsy and loose. I already re requested a return, but they said I had it on the car, so it is what it is when I have to take a loss. Pay more attention when you come, when you get your parts. Right now I'm trying to decide between the HPS intake and the SRC intake. Those are both around $200. This was $194, $184 with shipping. The install itself wasn't hard. But like I said, this whole bracket thing, I was talking to my uncle about it, about getting a shield made. He was like, just get rid of it, get something better. So next time, you know, I'll rush. I won't rush as much to get my part, but I mean, it sounds good. You're gonna lose a bit on the low RPMs, but you do feel it kick a little bit harder on the top end. But with the exhaust, the exhaust overtakes any negatives this brings. You got your noise back. You got your power, and honestly, I feel like I'm doing better on gas too, but no, nothing but positives about the exhaust. The install was super easy. We had trouble getting the bolts off in the back, but you know, I went to my uncle's house. We got it on a lift, got under there. We cut the back off, the mufflers off, and then the at the cat, we, uh, we just used the breaker bar. We got it loose. Now, I wanna do a, a mid pipe next, and I really want to be petty and get get a new um, exhaust manifold, but there's no point in that because we're going to be boosting the car. So, yeah, I'm happy with where it stands. I will be switching this out. I'll do a video on the new intake when I get it. I'm probably going to do the black one H from HPS. Kind of keep the black black theme going until I switch to uh, you know the polished intercooler turbo look. But for now. I mean, this isn't a bad, bad investment. If you can get a heat shield, an intake is not a bad investment, but this one, definitely stay away from it. The HPS one, it has a bracket that comes here and over, and it sits, you know, this one's flimsy. So, yep, that's how I feel about right, it. As you can see, we got new fog lights in the car. Moms came and got me like, hey, you got a package. I didn't even know, but, they came in, the, literally the easiest install I've done on the car so far. Just two screws, one, two, take out the old housing, pop the light out, put the new housing in with the new light, and that's it. But um, stay tuned for what we're gonna do next to the car. I'm on the fence between the rear lights and this mid pipe. Next, besides my intake, I'm, I have to do the intake because I don't like the, driving around with the flimsy thing. I already drive too fast as it is. But um, besides that, yeah. Mid pipe, brake lights, you know, I got a, it's, it's a list, but yeah, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Apex Vision TV. Check out all our social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, YouTube. Apex Vision out.